Hey everyone, how you doing? Today we're on a new week and we got loads flying out to you this week. From this, from so obviously today being gym cardio, to communication tomorrow, new rules including information on belts on Wednesday, and question and answers with regards to goal kicks on Friday. We're also going to a weekend competition of a spot the difference, so be prepared and keep your eye out for that one. Uh, there's my uh, cue cards gone. How is everyone and how are we all doing? Obviously, gym cardio today is all about health related fitness. It's how we increase and sustain our physical activity. Um, we're looking at gaining the ability to deliver oxygen into the muscles. Um, with things like heart rate, stroke volume, cardiac output, um, and oxygen consumption. So that's what our cardiovascular system is all about, and that's what cardio fitness is all about. Now, obviously, I ask people to bring a skipping rope, and if you've got a boxing bag, brilliant, utilise that. I'm not going to be doing a skipping rope in here, although I do love skipping myself personally with speed ropes, because I'm in a short, period, a short sort of area. Um, I don't want to hit the camera over and uh, knock you guys out. So uh, I'm going to put the skipping rope aside. But what we are going to start with is a two, three minute skip. Um, and then we're going to go on to sort of a 10, 15, maybe a little bit longer if we get carried away into the boxing side of it. So the cyber points today are all to do with if you perform in this. So if you turn up and do it, you're going to get 20 cyber points, like a one-on-one. -on, -one. on top of that, you get an extra five cyber points for everyone in your family you get to do it with you so for instance if mum's watching or dad's watching or your sister's watching if you can get them doing it and video it send it to me just so i can confirm that you have got them to do it if you manage to get them to do it there's an extra five cyber points per person so the limitations to the amount of points you get today is just literally as far as your brain can get obviously stay safe only do it with people in your family. If you've got one in your family, try and get them to do it. If you've got two in your family, try and get them to do it. Obviously, don't go and get people that you don't know. Stay safe, stay indoors, stay with your family. But five side points for everyone else you can get. So let's see who's live with us today. We've got Jonathan and Christopher. We've got little Cody. Um, and we've got a few others that I can't see at the moment. So hello to everyone. I hope you're all well. Um, I've, uh, for those guys that know... Uh, What's just been happening today, I've literally just run back um, three kilometres in uh, just under 15 minutes to uh, pick up a um, fridge freezer. So uh, my cardiovascular system is obviously going to be going, what are you doing, Lee? But we're going to start with a little bit of warm up to get you guys going. All I want is that nice clean agility effect to start with. We're going to go two toes. So we're going to start with the goalkeeping agility effect. Just going to be bubbly, nice and light on your toes, bouncing. Pierce, sorry, Nicola. Um, yes, they probably are getting you to join in now. This is just me getting my own back. All right. So everyone, just get on your toes, nice and light, nice and bubbly. Two toes, hands can relax. You're just looking to get that bouncing going. Anyone that is looking at the screen at the moment, yes, you're on cardiovascular system, so I might be jumping up and down. If you want to go to single toes, and then switch back to double toes. And then back to single toes. And then switch. Go the opposite side, so you're coming onto a front foot stance. So when we're talking boxing, we're talking front foot stance, and we're talking southpaw. So if I shout southpaw, you've got a lead with your right shoulder. If I shout front foot stance, you're leading with your left shoulder. Go to double toes for me again. Nice and light. And count to 30, go. And single toes. Now, those guys that know me know that this is easy for me because one of my sort of favorite pastimes when I go to the gym is sort of skipping in the steam room in the sauna. So skipping in a room like this is absolutely a piece of cake to me. Um, sauna suits, things like that, love them to pieces, but you just got to be cautious and obviously have the right cardio behind you before thinking about doing anything like that. Single toes, so you're just going on your left side. A little bit of core stability at the same time. And right side. 
Now, what kind of cardios do you guys like doing? If you're away from here, you're away from football, do you have, do you go running? Do you play a different sport? Um, like we showed you a few weeks ago, do you go um, on the rivers with kayaks, canoes and things like that? Um, is your is your favorite thing mountain running or hill running or grass running? Or even some people I know that obviously work with me, they, they actually run round tracks and things like that. Um, where's your sort of favorite place to run? Obviously guys, I'll answer a few of the questions now, but obviously any questions that are really coming in today, because in a minute I'm gonna be having the boxing gloves on, will be very limitation answers, but when the live finishes, I will answer every single question that comes on here. So if you do have any questions or any thought processes on any sort of ideas you had or changes or what you'd like to do differently, um, ping them on here and I'll answer them as soon as I can. Double toe again, but going touch, 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 touch. Now for the next minute you're going to literally be only on your toes so your heels can't touch the ground so it's little tiny toe touches so it's touch 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 just to really work the calves just what going to flush the actual calf muscle with a load of blood circulation so raising your cardiovascular system can be done in many ways now if you're new to cardiovascular system and you're new to cardiovascular exercise i would suggest doing sort of five minutes of this if you've done it for a long time and you feel you're capable of, do the whole thing with me. Um, but as soon as you start getting too tired, just stop and come back and do an extra five minutes tomorrow. Um, cardiovascular system can be worked near enough every day. Um, you, you, after sort of three, four weeks or even a week sometimes, it is good to give the body a little bit of a break and a little bit of a rest, which is where the rest days come from. Um, but cardiovascular system is also all to do with your heart and pumping the blood around the body. So you can use it every single day. Walks, runs, cycles, rowing, all those sort of things are all cardiovascular fitness. Now, for me, I would always vary my cardiovascular. So I wouldn't always go on a run or I wouldn't always jog in the gym or I wouldn't always skip in the steam room because it'll get boring and your brain will go, don't really want to do it today. And it's a matter about keeping that brain guessing, keeping that body guessing, keeping the heart working in different ways. So if you are doing cardio, I would suggest varying it week in, week out, or even day in, day out. If you've got a few different ones, you like rowing, or you like cycling, or you like jogging, do two different ones a day. Do, sorry, two different ones a day, two different ones a week. Um, so you might jog Monday, row Tuesday, day off Wednesday, Thursday jog, Friday sort of row. That's the sort of areas you'd be looking at with cardiovascular fitness. All right, so now all we're gonna do is just bring the right knee up. So a couple of steps, left knee up. A couple of steps, right knee up. Again, cyber points today are all on. If you're joining in and you video yourself, that'll be 20 cyber points, much like a one-on-one -on -one would be. If you get anyone else in your family and in your home doing it with you, and you can get them on video next to you, even if it's only for a minute, it's absolutely fine, you'll get an extra five cyber points per person. So good luck, try and get them doing it. Now, if you are only gonna get them doing it for a minute, two minutes, do it in about 10 minutes when we get into the hard stuff. Don't be nice to them. Just don't tell them I told you, all right? Now, I hope you guys had a lovely weekend and uh, it all went well for you. We've got a few sort of beastie sessions this week, so it's, can you keep up? Can you keep doing a few different things? And can you really get the body moving for yourselves this week? And back just to skipping on, jogging on the spot. Now, I can see someone, well, someone asked me earlier anyway, what have I done today? Um, I had a 5K jog to begin with. <laughs> I then went into the gym and did chest and triceps. So the jog was obviously my warm up to come into the gym. I did the chest and triceps, which is uh, my push day. And from that, we then went out for a dog walk with the two twins, because um, they'd pulled out of uh, a cup different things each day. And one of them in there was to go out for a walk with coach and the dogs. 
So we took him out for a walk and we were about three villages along and uh, I had a phone call from the people delivering the fridge freezer. went, yeah, we were in Fireman's Waving House. Oh God, um, you know, you weren't gonna be here for a couple of hours. Yeah, yeah, we're Fireman's Waving House. Oh, cheers. So uh, absolutely launched myself as quick as I physically could across all the fields with the dogs in tow <laughs> um, and managed to get here. And uh, I had five minutes to then get that fridge or get the fridge close to being in and then set up for this. So uh, it's been an interesting hour, shall we say. So there's our warm up done. Have a little drink, get a little bit of oxygen in your lungs and take some fluids on. How many steps have I done so far? When I looked, I was on 12K. So if I haven't done, te uh, if I haven't done my 15 by the end of this, I'm done. <laughs> I love that. Kettlebell workouts are brilliant. I actually was going to do that with you guys today, but I thought, no, I'll do boxing first. And then we'll go from there. Hello, the Who's as well. Um, uh, Jacob's watching as well, I believe. Got all sorts of guys and girls watching. So hopefully you're joining in. Hopefully you're getting your people involved. Make sure you message on here, message me on WhatsApp. If you are wanting those extra cyber points, launch your photos and your videos through. You'll get the cyber points for today. Now we get onto the good stuff, a bit of boxing. Now I'm hoping James Green's watching today because he can uh, then come and tell us some tips on uh, my boxing technique because uh, those guys that don't, don't know, uh, one of the lads I coach, goalkeeping and PTing side too. Um, he's uh, connected to one of the biggest uh, companies of boxing in Milton Keynes and uh, our area. Um, and uh, for for the for him, he could have gone miles, and he still could go miles with his boxing because uh, from uh, what his coach tells me, he's an absolute beast. Um, so if Alan's watching as well, you're a legend. Stay safe, and uh, Jamesy, I hope you're flying still. So I'm getting on to a normal stance to start with, so a neutral stance. I'm hoping you guys can see me okay there. I'm gonna might have to turn you around slightly. Facebook moving. Oh, hi Asper, you better still see me as we're doing the exercises. Now, all we're gonna do is normal neutral stance, and it's just gonna be jab, control, jab, control. So we're just working on jabs to start with. We're coming through the front foot as we jab. So it's front foot to strike, but we're keeping this hand up to protect the face. So if anyone was then coming through with an actual full fist, it's got the protection of the actual jaw. So it's just there, jab, jab. We're going for 20 of them, both sides to change. So you might not see me in a minute because I'll be the opposite side, but up, jab, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Change. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 20. Now, some of you might be thinking, oh God, we've got no boxing bag, what do we do? Well, that's easy. If we're doing that exercise without a boxing bag, all we'd want to do is jab, jab. So you're shadow boxing. If you're shadow boxing yourself, you're still getting the exact same workout without a little bit of obviously pressure coming from the boxing bag. So you're not getting the weight sort of side of the muscle coming through, but you are getting the cardiovascular fitness. So anything we do today that is to do with the bag, you haven't got a bag, no problem. If you want to make it a little bit harder? Put water bottles in your hands and then punch with those water bottles. Bar that, you'll be absolutely perfect. Just do the exercise we're doing. So nice no skipping on the spot. And then we're going to go to jab, jab, duck. So it's jab, jab, duck. And back to the toast. One, two, duck. One, two, duck. One, two, duck. One, two, duck. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, change sides. Again, just relax your arms down low. Let the actual blood come into the hands. Just give those shoulders a couple of second break. And straight away, put them up to defend. And now they're going out to the side. Front to take the belt out. And small little circles for me. All going forwards. And then small circles going backwards. And then bring them in to defend again. Should be burning your front delt right now. And we're going to do a couple of punches up high. And relax your shoulders. Stay on those toes for me. And this time, jab, punch. As we come through, jab. Hands still up to protect. So it's jab, protect. Other one comes back to protect, now I'm punching through. As I punch through, I'm twisting into it, and I'm actually bringing the fist through to punch. You'll get, it's where we get the most power coming through the actual jab and the actual accelerated of the backhand punch. All right, so we're going 10 both sides. So it's just one, two, three, four, five, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Change sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That was a little bit slow, though. Nine. Oh, we need an extra one. And this time, just going to punch in front. So it's just round punches. Change way, change directions. I've almost punched yourself. Don't punch yourself though. <laughs> and punch forwards. And we're just going to go single jabs to the front. Change off, single jabs to the front. All right, going back into the bag. Jab, jab, punch. So jab, jab, stay behind the protection on the two jabs. So it's jab, jab, now drive. Jab, jab, now drive. doing it make sure your eye contact is where you want the punch to go through to so it's eye contact eye contact keep your head there don't turn the head keep your hand there because you want a fist going through solid not bent or twisted Should be getting a good sweat up now, and those legs should be getting a little bit of blood circulating through them. So we're now going to go on to arms up, protect, knee up, knee up, turn these, go. Now, let's get some likes on this to keep me going, otherwise I might just switch off and go to sleep. So I want to see those likes flying up that page. We got 11,000 views the other day on one of them. Let's get some likes flying around these pages. Like and share. Go on, I'm not seeing any likes yet. 
and right on up. Change, left arm up. Both arms up. Come on, that was only one set of likes. Where's the rest of you? Get those lights coming in. Both arms to protect. Just for that, because there was a limited amount of likes. Yeah, everyone's going on to a front lunge. And then front lunge. Gonna do, let's go five each side. So 10 total. Going back to the back, punch, punch, duck, hit through. Punch, punch, duck, hit through. Change sides. That sprint. We're going to sprint 30 seconds. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Go. T push for ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, take gloves off, take a little drink. All the Hughes, how you doing? Mr. Dan, John, Nick even, how are you all? Mum said no, she's not joining in, <laughs> that's fair. It's hard. I do like it with gloves on. Yeah, agreed. It's a lot nicer. Even Paul, how are you? Hope you're well. So, as we're now on this one, what we want to do is actually start bringing a little bit of forward motion coming through the actual punch. So the weight comes onto that front foot and we're going through with the jab and driving around. So the actual outside shoulder really turns into the motion, a bit like what you'd be doing if you were doing goal kicks. So it's front foot, front foot drive. So the power comes through the back arm and through the back obliques turning in with the chest. All right, we're gonna go, let's go five each side. So it's just a little light find where your person is, then the drive comes through. It's a little bit like Tyson Fury does. He finds out where his opponent is, and he drives into that actual boxing bag. So find it, drive. Find it, drive. Now, I don't know about you, but I can't count today, so I think that was five. Go one more for luck and back to your toes again but this time we're going up we're going shoulder presses ten of them two three four five on the fifth one you're holding that shoulder press six seven eight nine ten and we're going light jabs, as many as you can. 30 seconds, both arms. Keep the outside hand up, make sure you have protection to your face. So 
Okay, so. And back to your toes. So this time, just gonna do a shallow box in front of you, but you're on a stable stance. So your shoulders are facing forwards, like right? you wouldn't do in a boxing ring, but you would do on your set stance for the goalkeeper. So you're just gonna punch through, we're gonna go 20 times. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 14, 16, 18, told you I couldn't count today. All over the place, at least I landed, at least I ended up with the right hand. <laughs> So this time, going into a set stance. So shoulders over, nicely on your toes, nicely balanced, hands down to relax. And you're just gonna bounce, 20 seconds. Nice and light, nice and loose. And then front foot stance, go back to that jab. So left arm jab only. And right arm jab only. So change sides. Now obviously, as you can see in front of you, I've got loads, well, you can only see two of them on the Facebook, but on the video that I'll release later, you can probably see three or four. Uh, I've got a boxing mannequin there. We've got a small jab pad there. We've got a heavy pad there. We've got another heavy bag down in the corner. Boxing, when I come into the gym, is a beautiful thing. It allows the warming up of all the muscles straight away. Um, you get sweat on literally as soon as you start. Um, and you're also working muscular strength as well as a bit of muscular endurance. Now, I reckon let's go five more minutes. So you're on the last little decline, that last little push. So everyone's got to now start raising it and upping it. And what we're going to do to up it, instead of those jabs, we're only going to go with punches. So we're on that normal neutral stance. We're on a Tyson Fury punch and it's just going to be a jab around and hit through, all right? So the jab hand has just gone lazy. 12th round, we're knackered, got no protection up. Get us going in to punch, we're going to go 10 times. Everything's coming through from the chest, everything's coming through from the front delt. And it's driving all the way through that bag. So it's all on that push motion and that push mechanism of the biomechanics of the body. You're driving into it. Ready? Three, two, one, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Change sides. One, two, three, four. And come in, we're going to punch around. 20 punches by sides. Drive right the way down. All the way in, keep those legs moving. Those feet shouldn't have stopped yet. And double tie, both punches. Both punches out. And both punches up. And back to that single foot. And punch in front of you. And change sides. So, jab, elbow, jab, elbow. So you're really coming through and using the obliques to turn into the back. So we're getting a little bit of oblique pain coming in at the end of this. 10 by sides. We're obviously changing each time. You ready? One jab, two jab, three jab. Come on, last five. 16, 
17, 18, 19, 20. And we've killed the roof shine on the wall, so sorry, Bob. Um, but uh, I'm sure I've got another one hanging around somewhere. Um, I might show you in a minute, it's a little bit kind of dead. Oops. <laughs> now, last three minutes, full on pump. So we're going 30 seconds of sprints on the spot to 30 second punch, knee up, punch, knee up. You ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Straight in the punch, up, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we're a little bit of MMA, a little bit of boxing. 12, 13, 14, 15, change sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And we're going bonus round. 30 seconds on the spot. Go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Keep going, guys. Doing amazing. If you're still going now, you're doing phenomenally. Keep breathing. Let the sweat pour off. Keep up taking that oxygen. Let's say about five seconds here. Four, <laughs> three. Oh, no, let's work upwards. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, come on, push in. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Just slowing down the pace for a little while now, just to allow the actual heart to recover itself. So we don't just suddenly stop straight away. Allow the oxygen to be uptaken into the body and try and get rid of as much of that lactic acid as we can. Just going nice and light, nice and loose on punches. Just slight turns to it. Just looking down your arm as you're punching. Big circles again, you slow down your pace now. We're on a two minute cooldown. Just open up the chest, I need a bit of that. And just the front of the red delts. Upper chest. Just little gentle jabs, slowing down the feet all the way in now. Going down to almost walking pace, going like front foot, walking stance. Just nice little jab, nice little jab. Only going five of them. It's not high work rate now, it's low work rate, nice easy turns. Now, if you've got boxing gloves on, you can take them off. Just sort at your equipment, just loose arms, loose, relax hands, flick your feet, going into just a couple of static structures. 
Oh, I think I saw Finley's on here as well. Big man, the fact you're doing this live and then in about half hour's time I've got you on the one-on-one. -on -one. Absolute respect. Well done. I hope you got your dad joining on this one and your mum. That's at least 10 extra cyber points for you. Uh, get me on that video. Get it sent through to me so I know. Now remember guys, if you've joined in on this one, it's 20 cyber points. But I need a photo or a video to confirm it. And for every person you've got in your family to join in, Again, I need a photo or video. Only 30 seconds, 10 seconds if you need. It's not a problem, but the more people you get, the more side points you get. All right, so I know you guys wondered how that was stuck up there, but I'm not going to give you all my secrets. But at the end of every single boxing event, you have a champion. I believe it's me today, so uh, I'm going to have a walk off and I'm going to cheer to the adoring crowd that we're not allowed at the moment. But I'm going to cheer the door and crowd, and I'm just going to bid you farewell for today on the, fir on the first live of the week. Hope you enjoyed cardiovascular fitness. We've got loads more lives coming up this week. We've got other videos coming up as well. So watch this space. Um, thank you all for being part of the Keeper.co.uk. Um, much love to everyone. Everyone stay safe, and I shall see you back here tomorrow. Take care.